Yeah, nope. look, sorry. I just couldn't understand what it, you, did, did you understand what he was saying? I did not hear what he was saying. Yeah. He's wearing, like, earphones as well, so he's... He is. He's got his, Very uh, antisocial. I find sometimes when I'm talking with headphones and I don't have the, the feedback of my own voice, my words become gobbled, you know? It's, uh, pulling out the I just willy-nilly spit out syllables like it's nobody's business, you know? You know how it is. Man, what a beautiful rest. Beautiful wow. rest. My is Davos going to play Jigglypuff against Kaiser? He might. Would he, might he dare? might be testing his limits. Would he dare? I think he would rest, actually. I think he might dare as well. Uh, one thing I was talking to Davin about, uh, you know, when he would finally give me the time of day to have a real man-to-man -man conversation with me, was that he plays Dota now. And yeah. um, what I've gleamed, game. gleamed? But is it gleamed or gleamed? It's gleamed. It's gleamed. Gleamed is like gained knowledge. Gleamed is like shined. Okay. Yeah, but I what, think gleamed is a word, actually. What I... What I gleamed, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Gleamed is like the gleam of the neon light at night from the diner. Yeah, I guess it is a word, but the gle not what I gleamed. Often. What I gleamed. Let me just continue my thought, and we can go back to gleam and gleam. Because <laughs> even when something is gleaming, you don't really say gleamed. It gleams, you know. Gleaming. Yeah, you know, things can gleam. Dude, lights can definitely gleam, bro. Damn, chain grab. You telling me a neon light can't gleam? It can gleam. I didn't say it couldn't. Yeah, and what if the light went out? It would have gleamed in the bust. So what I gleaned from the conversation with Devin is that he now plays Dota. Yes. And what I gleaned about Dota from my years of living with a... Dota fanatic. With a Dota fanatic is that Dota is the game of strategy and not of, like, not so much in the moment reads as much as Melee, but of an overarching tactics and strategy. True. And I gleaned that. I mean, so there anyway, is, and what there I'm is saying is, race. I think maybe he wants to play a, a more strategic type of match with Jigglypuff, rather than a scramble like he might play with Sheik. He wants to play a really macro-focused game plan. See, now you're just saying words. Uh, you what does macro even mean? You haven't gleaned what anything is, from What does macro even mean? mean? Tell me that. You haven't gleaned a single thing I know in the last 10 minutes. I know what macro means. I, I, what does macro mean? When was the last time you gleaned anything, my friend? You oh. have... I gleaned that I don't. I, I don't. I've gleaned uh, that I don't think <laughs> that you know what macro means. I've gleaned that you don't have a lot happening upstairs. All right, that's what I'm gleaning right now. <laughs> yeah, I just don't think you. Do. <laughs> saying macro, what does it mean? I'm. I, I'm what does it mean in the context that's why of this game? He would want to play puff. Yeah, but how does macro factor? You don't think it? puff can play a more macro style of game than Sheik? Which is very micro focused. I think she can play a very macro game. No, I think Puff. You can really choose the moments you want to go in. You can you can like uh, play oh, a more nice. more strategic, uh, broad game plan of positioning rather than like being forced into scrambles, which might happen if you're playing Falco as Sheik. I mean, he looks pretty micro right now. He looks like a little micro man. That's what I'm saying. He needs to embiggen himself. He needs to yeah, exactly. That macro and you know, scale. Dave Davin has the noblest spirit. Yeah. So I, he, if anyone could do it, he could. He could turn himself from a David into a Goliath. Long time oh, viewers. Oh, long time viewers, long, long time we'll time get that call back. We'll thank you to all our long time viewers. We could not do it without you. Yeah, thank you very much. Just, uh, we uh, wouldn't do it without you. Put a, put a pop champ in the chat. Just please, please, please. give us a pop champ. Any emote, any emote. It does, anything, like, please, any emote. Please put a pop, a pop champ in the chat so I can screenshot it. God, and it's show been it to my years mom. since I lost our emote. I, I, oh, I, need, I need this. I, never, I need a win. You know, one day you can see your last emote. I, I never. Oh, thank you. Fuck. Oh. Long time view thank you to my longtime viewer, Brad oh. SBM. The and now we're going to have podcast. a classic. A South Australian classic. One that's already happened today. That's how classic it is. So classic, you had to do it twice. So classic, it went to game five, lost goddamn stop. All right, it oh, winners. And now Kai saying, none of that matters. Yeah, because I'm getting grabbed. Help. Because Davin took an auto loss against SA Nick. So oh. the winner said, really doesn't matter. Collusion? <laughs> yeah, I, he, I told him to throw because, uh, you know, He needed a win. Because of ethics. Ethics. <laughs> because of utilitarianism. Yeah. Makes sense. I hope you're there for me when all the emotes are gone, Brad. One day in the barren. <laughs> when the emotes have gone extinct, I hope there's still Brad as it's BM. 
still, still I hope he's making little, little ASCII uh, emotes in the chat. They'll look, one day the historians will be able to look back and see the trail where it all ended. And they'll see Brad S SSBM right there at the very end. I was watching um, a Path of Exile stream. Uh, yeah. Like a YouTube video that he made. Okay. And um, he has this chat in the overlay. And specifically in the chat, it's like, I'm recording a YouTube video, no penis. And then someone posted this enormous ASCII art penis. And it was the most glorious. You only see it for like one second, but in YouTube you get pause. So you can actually see it for as long as you like. And uh, I think Twitch You'd needs love to more see of that. that happen. It was like so... Yeah, it was... It was like very lifelike, honestly. Lifelike? Yeah. Anyway, it's good that's, to know. It's I good to know we've got some young artists this, out there flying this, uh, their train. If anyone else has seen a penis on the internet recently, uh, uh, press, press one. one. In if you haven't seen any penises recently on the internet or otherwise, press two. Yeah. Feels if bad. you only see penises offline, but you don't see them online, press three. Okay. That's but if you then. see them online and offline, you can uh, feel free to do anything. If you... If you create penis images, press 4. Yeah, and we appreciate you. Just saying. No, the internet would not be the same without people like you. It definitely would not be. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> really, uh, we've, I think we've said it all. Yeah, Tikano, I hadn't got around to 6 yet, but 6 was if you, if you like, spam uh, pictures of your own penis to other people on the internet. And like a, like a hero. Twitter, like unsolicited. Yeah. Not all heroes wear capes. Yeah, exactly. So, Tikano, uh, no. prolific in the, in the dick pic. Uh, yeah, I think I've heard that before. <laughs> um, in many ways, Brad, you already are. Oh, and Kai getting absolutely spanked that game. That's one for the bloody... One for the books. highlight reels. Yeah. And that looks saying, take me anywhere, bro, because I can fight you there. All right? And, uh, You're just a bird, and I am a ninja. Right. I'm a... Guys, like, I'm going to take you to FD, and I'm going to get grabbed. Exactly. Devin, good on FD. Devin, a master troll, uh, saying to me as I picked FD, oh, no, don't take me to FD, and then beating me. <laughs> also, beat me on FD in the friendly we played on FD. I was like... As soon as he said that, I was like, he's definitely fucking with me. He's like to be. I mean, he's got to be good at it, right? He's got to take there all the time. Oh, Devin, I will say, not good on Pokemon Stadium in the one match we played. Man. Got, got no a little bit no coaching. Fizz -anked. Coaching on the set. Oh, oh and that's a long but... tech roll. He's saying, let me roll all the way out of here. Tactical roll. Uh, commando roll. Commando roll? Commando roll. Spicy you know, you know roll. Clyde, my, my Dota playing friend? I do know Clyde. Press uh, he, one in the chat if you know Clyde. Press one in the chat if you know Clyde. Uh, he's come climbing a few times recently, and when he falls down, um, he says, "Oh no!" <laughs> no, he oh does no a he's. full. When he like, when he even when he's like deliberately falling down to like get off the top of the climb, he does like a full commando roll every time. It's really funny. <laughs> he says this because he used to do judo, and like that's just the correct way to fall. But it's like it takes up several meters of like the gym space. To, like, roll all the way over there. He, should, he should just take the damage. He should just take the damage, exactly. Honestly, the fall damage is like not that significant because the mat is like very soft. Judo might be the least hype martial art, actually. It's just that, like nothing really happens to Judo. Yeah, I don't know. I think Judo is pretty cool. You like throw people over your shoulder. Can someone message Microsoft J, by the way? Uh, I wish he was here. It's Losers Finals, by the way, for all the idiots. For all the gamers out there. For all the people who forgot to update the stream. Yeah, Nick. Don't talk to me. All right, well, you just have to do the rest of this play yourself. Uh, and Kai is saying, I may be down, but I'm not out. Maybe. I may be down. I don't think Kai was going to make it back there. Devin's usually pretty good at finishing people off when he gets to the stage. No. Devin, Devin, a renowned choker of uh, melee. Is he? Maybe. I'd say. Who's your source? It's renowned, bro. It's public domain. 
Look at that dab in your public domain. Oh, what an insane up air. Get fucked. Yeah, your dad Kaiser just fucked Davin. Play that much. I'm not afraid to. I'm not afraid to keep it real in the commentary booth. Yeah. All right. Regardless <laughs> of the consequences. Look, that's the one thing that's missing from uh, melee these days: realness. There, I said it. He said it. <laughs> there, I said it. <laughs> All right. And if no one else has got the cojones to keep it real, then uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to do it. Yeah. Oh. You in the chat, you find yourself on the precipice between real and fake. Look, if you, you can't handle me at my worst, Lemon, you don't deserve me at my best, all right? That's one of my, uh, that's something I always say. It's a very toxic thing to say, Nick. You know, well, you know what's toxic? Is being a, a fair weather friend. You know what's toxic? Toxic sludge. No, Nick is not here, Skip SPM. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I'm so embarrassed that he didn't, didn't even make the, the connection. You're at bouldering with Ando. I haven't seen Ando in a minute. How is he doing? What's bouldering? He's climbing. Okay. Because I pictured like two guys like just moving, rolling a boulder along. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, a little bit. It's like uh, Sisyphus. It's like, we yeah. talked about this last time. Long time viewers remember. <laughs> I don't remember, <laughs> but if you're a long like time viewer, you ago, I think. We were talking about this. This is in the famous commentary uh, set where I kept it a little too real. A little Muscat. too real? And he, and he, uh, he popped it off on you. He had a little bit of a... A little bit of a... Cry about it. It's a bit too real, mate. You need to cut that down. Regarding Skip SSBM. Oh, I think Davin needs to win this for the people to stay in chat. I think they're all just Davin supporters. But I want to see Kai win because I think he's swag, hype, and cool. So, a bit of a conflict of interest. Swag, hype, cute, cool. Yeah. And real. I was talking to Muscat about this earlier. He, along with me, might be the realest motherfuckers out here. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to pull up on him. <laughs> you don't want to. You do not want to. Kai be going, brap, brap, skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Bada boo. <laughs> yeah. Kaibi Kaibi really oh. out here jazz scatting on people. He'd be like, buddy bop boot up beep. Buddy beep bop boop. <laughs> beep bop boop. Maybe ad libbing on the on the sticks right now. I'd definitely be pulling out a crazy crazy animal. That's a that's a reference for some uh, some boomers out there. Sorry, bro. I don't understand that reference. Oh, yeah. And even if I did, I would. Uh, no way. That's not true. If I did, I would. I would give it a solemn nod. You, you never heard of uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Crazy Frog? Yes, I have heard. I have musical genius. I agree. Lyrical artist. I, I wouldn't call him lyrical. I would say I think he his flow is like, unparalleled. That's true. I've never heard him drop a rhyme. He's got flows like a fish or like an amphibian. Yeah. He can do both. Oh no, that was everything. That was everything. You hate oh, no to see everything. He's dead. Two, That's one. that absolute bloody feel when it's everything. <laughs> that feel when. That's. When everything, you've, you've given it everything you have and it's not enough. That feel when you spend days practicing just for this one moment in time. And then all of a sudden, it's taken away from you by a little missed input, a little bit of nerves, a little choke, a little mistake, a little, little bit of human error. One little crazy little frog. Oh, was a dream. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. One tiny frog. Just, uh, oh, Kai really be moving. He's saying, "What's a laser? I don't know. Let me just run really slowly at you and occasionally do moves and get grabbed." Uh, bold strategy, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See if it pays up. Oh. You know what? I think he's already kind of abandoned it. Oh, oh, oh. Kai's saying, player. I respect you, and you won't go for a shield grab. And Devin's saying, I'm I don't respect myself. Grab. I have no self respect. That's what Devin was saying. That's a shield grab of a person who doesn't even respect themselves. Alright. Looking, looking smooth. So far. The bird. No jump. 
<laughs> what a stupid idea. That, been going that a bit might have been a bit more stupid. Yeah. Devin, I'm going to say it, making bad choices. and ma we Bad life choices. And at the end of the day, we're not defined by who we are. We're defined by the choices we make, all right? Yeah. Remember that, guys. It's not who you are. It's what you do that matters, all right? Your actions don't determine the uh, yeah. second sense of your birth name to determine your actions. Oh, absolutely DI'd out like a chump, probably, maybe. <laughs> Hard to say. I don't know. I wasn't really watching, but... uh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and Kai saying, that's funny. Wait till you, you know, see me win something, something. See me in losers. Yeah, see oh, me, wait. Uh, you know what's really funny? A good combo. That's what he's saying. All right, it took me a while to get there. But it's like it's taken Kai a while to get there, but I think he's getting in his groove. Oh, he'd be grooving. He's up in this He's up in this game four. He takes it now with a you know, maybe a good two stop. He's well positioned to take the whole thing. And Dad's just moving around. He's saying, let me get out of the uh, the danger zone. He really do be saying. He's Honestly, that's one thing I always hear him say. But not with his words, with his actions. Yeah. I went for a cheeky poke to him. No bueno. Kai always trying to find a little uh, little niche situation. That's one thing you can, you can be sure about with Kai. He's always weaseling around. Yeah, he's a very resourceful, crafty, uh, you know, shrewd... Cretin. Uh, cretinous human. <laughs> I think cretin actually means like stupid, right? <laughs> uh, you know, don't worry about that. We have a moment of silence here on the mic. Lemons scratching his head thinking, what am I going to say? How am I going to break the silence? Uh, and Nick, I just bravely, let the record state I was not scratching my head. Bravely committing to the first sentence. And that's sometimes what it takes in a commentary duo, all right? That's what makes a good duo. One person to just yep. say, you know what? I'm done with the silence. I need to say something. The theme of this commentary duo is bravery. Yeah. We, we're just saying what everyone else is... Oh, oh and Kai really brave. Making choices that everyone else is afraid to make. Like, you know what? I am going to go down there. Is it going to work? Maybe. Kai's saying, yeah, look, I am at 30%, but fuck it. You're alone. You know, yeah. you only live once. It's true. That is what that means. So, you know, you learn something new every day. If you didn't know that, you, now you know it. Exactly. Now you can keep up with the kids when they say it. Oh, how did he know? Oh, absolutely dead. You know what they say, uh, who dares wins? That's like what, what Kai did. Yeah, it's like the and classic now. film where eagles dare. Exactly. Uh, and Kai playing very safe. He's going to go low with an end. He is oh, almost dash dead. insane. Nutty. And Davin saying, let me just real quick give that a little bit of a DI. All right. Ooh. And just change his health for some reason. All right. Game five on the on the point. You're right, Brad. That was a risky thing to say. I think Brad is another person who is comfortable with saying what other people are too afraid to say, but are thinking on the inside. Yeah. And that's really what separates people like me, you, Brad, um, Davin. Not Davin, no. I was going to say specifically not Davin. I would say that he separates, he separates him from the rest of us. Yeah, he separates Ready? us from Davin. <laughs> that he's afraid to say what, really, what he really thinks deep on the inside. I don't even want to know what Davin really thinks on the inside. It's probably then why were you looking through his mail? See, long-time viewers will get that. <laughs> well, thank you to all the long-time viewers. For keeping me honest, <laughs> all right? For making sure I don't contradict myself. And Davin's saying, maybe we were on the Pokemon Stadium before, but now we're on the Found of Nightmares. And this is my counterpick. This is where I make all my money. This, this is where I, I get my $15. This is where I come to play. This is where you go to go, go buy time. It's where birds go to die. Bedtime. Very famous this stage for having a lot of four stocks. I wonder if we'll see a four stock. So, oh, uh, it's looking unlikely right now. He's slipping away. But Wait a minute. Oh, oh, calculated. Kai, so smart. Um, so smart. So many people would not be brave enough to go for that option. They'd be thinking, oh, can I do it? But Kai just does it. Yeah, exactly. Maybe Kai also in that rare company of people who are afraid to do and say what other people are. You know. you know what I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah, uh, 
Yeah, you, you know. Yeah. Willing to do the hard yards. Exactly. But also the easy yards. And also the controversial yards. And the brave yards. That's, that's Literally every, any kind of yard you give him, he's, he's Look, down there doing it. Kai, Kai will literally take any yard, all right? Any yard, it's done. Don't even, don't even worry about it. Oh, oh Kai San, let me just give you a quick up tilt. Yeah. yeah, everything covered though. Oh, goes for the grab. That's one way to get your position to reversal. Is just to go for a big old grab. Sometimes in life, you gotta try and apply that corner pressure consistently rather than. Uh, Risking it all, betting it all. On on what? A Falco grab? A forward throw? On the thirty-three dollars from the tournament win? Yeah, exactly. And now Davin, look at it. He's he's pwning. He's cleaning up. Davin saying, "You best come correct if you're gonna try and grab me when I'm in shield on the corner, or I'll roll inwards and then push that advantage to a stop lead." Uh huh. That's that's. He didn't say that, but his eyes said that. His soul set it. You had to read. Yeah. And Kai saying, let me just grab you again. <laughs> he really do be saying that. <laughs> oh man, we're so hip with the kids. I mean, I don't, I don't like to say this often about myself, but I am pretty hip with the kids. And I think the two of us really have our fingers on the pulse. The thing about being down with the kids is I put in like hours and hours of preparation. I was saying this to you earlier. Yeah. When I go to commentate a tournament, I don't just show up, you know, willy-nilly, say what's on my mind. I put in hours of research into what the kids are saying. Long-time viewers will know. Long-time viewers will know that I, I constantly evolve. Oh, he's on his last legs. Kai saying, let me just answer check that and get back to stage. Yeah, it's that easy. Get out of there. I would hate to lose this. You can I feel know. how much Dabin would hate to lose this. He's just going to try and take it anyway. That's a brave option. He's too brave and for me. Kai shrugging his shoulders saying, I don't care. I don't care about melee. Who cares? Fuck oh, you. Davin? Yeah, that's the dog that shat everywhere. Uh, allegedly. It's the pooping dog. Allegedly. Uh, let it be known. Let it be known that allegedly. Then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start shining till Devin starts crying. Uh, let, let I don't that think that line's down with the kids anymore. I think that's past the point that you can use that. Uh, press one in the chat. For no particular reason. <laughs> 